Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brock, period. And today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to tote this hookah. So if y'all wanna learn how to tote, how I just did, then y'all need to keep on watching. Okay, y'all can interact in the video because I'm not trying to be like. Dry. I mean, I'm not gonna be dry regardless. Mm. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna teach y'all and them how to set up a hookah because I'm pretty sure y'all don't know how to do y'all. No. I don't want this video to be too like cut cookie cutter. You know, it's like a different environment as y'all see. I'm at home. So, and we're gonna be smoking on hookah. So, if y'all don't know who I am by now, then go watch the other videos to get an introduction. No. So, I got this hookah from CBD Herbal Shisha on Instagram. And they provide hookahs, tobacco, which is nicotine free, and all their products are just natural and way healthier for you than regular cold, regular tobacco, all that. So, if you don't know, then you need to get hit. But unfortunately, right now I only have this hookah. I don't have the um, their tobacco or their coal. But this hookah is really cute. <laughs> I'm making a video. So y'all can stay on that side of the room. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but I'm gonna teach them how to set up a hookah. So please don't play no songs or nothing in the background before I get copyrighted. Anyway, all you're gonna need is your hookah your hose. I'm gonna show you how to put all this shit together, okay? And tote too. Coal, tobacco, any flavor you like. I have the grapefruit one and it's so good. When you buy a hookah, all this stuff ain't included, okay? Everything is separate. The tobacco, separate. The coal, separate. The mouthpiece, separate. The water, <laughs> separate. <laughs> but all I come with this, what you see here, and the hose, okay? Oh, and, um, the tongs. Oh, and you're gonna need aluminum foil, okay? So just try to keep up. I know, you know, I'm about to have a little function, so just don't ignore my um process a little rush for real, but whatever. First things first, what you wanna do is take off, remove the base, separate the base from the top of the hookah. Oh, Okay, so you want it to be tight, that's good, because you don't want no loose ass hookah, okay? Because if the bottom fall off, then you're fucked. So you see the bottom right here? So the objective is to make sure that the water is touching this, because if not, you're not gonna be smoking anything but air, okay? Not no vapor. So what you're gonna do is take your water, fill it up on the sink, don't gotta be bottled water, you can fill it up any way you want. But I'm just gonna place this down. Cold water is better, but I, I use room temperature but if you use cold water it feels like it kind of feels like icy like mint like oh you ever seen people smoke the bones and then they have the ice at the bottom it'd be so like it be it feels way better anyway can you not look and judge like that i just want to watch oh you can watch but she was just like like he was mugging no. so what you want to do you can see through the bottle which yes. what you're gonna just try to do is estimate where the water will stop for it to touch this. I mean, when you put the thing in, I don't know if you can see. When you hold it up to the light, you can see where the, pretty much where the stem at the bottom stops at. So you just fill it up to where you think the bottom will, um, and this stem is like a shorter one. Oh, I've seen longer ones, so. I think this will be fine. It's pretty full. Oh, it's not, what the fuck? Oh, it's pretty full, so we should be good. So you're gonna push this. Push it down, like so. <laughs> All right, I got a muscle. I'm just gonna make sure it's in there, which it is. If you can see. It's hard to see on the camera, but you can see in the in the light. It's very much submerged, okay? Okay. So then what you're gonna do is take your tobacco, and this is what it's gonna be burning, okay? This is the flavor, this is how your hookah is gonna taste. 
whatever tobacco flavor you have is what it's gonna taste like. Oh, quick little um, tip. Oh, you wanna get in? You wanna show your face? Okay. We got Dream Chaser in the back, and you know, she is well experienced with the hookah. So, okay, little FYI, everybody wanna smoke the little, the little cute fruity flavors, strawberry, mango, all that dumb shit. Oh. But the fruity flavors is what gives you a headache for real. Mint is the best. Oh wait, way to hold on, hold on, hold on. Mint is the best way to go when you when you have regular tobacco. But with feel good hemp's, their nicotine free tobacco, none of it gives you headaches. Like you would not get a headache at all because it has no nicotine in it. So when you cop your hookah from Feel Good Hunt, make sure you cop your nicotine free tobacco. That is the key to no headaches. Do you have like a cold or something? Huh? You have a cold? No, why? No, because you could have told them. Do I have a, a what? A promo code. Oh, no. I you said a cold. Like my throat. So I'm like, what does I sound like a man? So this is what tobacco looks like. All right, I'm done. Looks like this. It's really wet. A lot of people try to put like weed and stuff in a, um, in a hookah, but you can't do that because you need something like this texture because weed is not meant to be vaporized. So you cannot try to put it in a hookah and smoke that shit as if it's tobacco in it because it's not gonna work. So what you wanna do is fill up the top of the bowl. <gasps> oh, the fireworks? Uh -huh. Yes. And that's in the back of my video too. <laughs> so you wanna fill the top of the bowl. You wanna cover the holes up. And Chase, huh? what would you say how to pack this bowl up? Just fill it up or what? Um, you want to distribute it evenly th over the whole bowl. You want to cover it. The holes need to be covered. So this is about a good amount. You want to cook that. Now, <laughs> when you take your aluminum foil, you, you want to put the shiny side down, okay? Now, I know it don't seem like it's going to make that big of a difference. Why am I putting the shiny side up? Why is it matter? Why does it matter? because if you put the shiny side down, that also plays a part on how you take it in. Like it'll really burn in bad, <laughs> bad if you put this, um, the shiny side up. So what you wanna do, shiny side down, you just wanna have a piece big enough to cover the bowl of your hookah. Let them know that the size of that hookah don't matter either because everybody wants these big ass ones. I can show you a comparison actually. This is like, you see, next to me. And this is like a larger hookah. But yeah. The but bigger one, it's a myth that the bigger ones are better just because of the size. It really doesn't right. matter. Because these be pulling, trust. Especially, I'm going to show y'all a little technique. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to show y'all technique because that's, if y'all want to know, then y'all need to let me know because y'all don't get that shit just, you know just for fun. Anyway, shiny side down, take the the bowl of the hookah, and you really wanna tighten that bitch on, like, like so. And the tongs that come with your hookah from Feel Good Hemp's will have a hole puncher side, okay? You wanna punch holes in the hookah so that when you put the coal, the burning coal on top, it'll just flow straight to the tobacco, burn it, and you feel that flavor. So when you, you'll see. You wanna put a lot of little holes. Yeah, so you wanna put little holes, well, this size hole. I start, well, it don't really matter how you start it. No, but the, the holes wanna be close in the middle and then as you go out, it's Oh, nice. okay, so on the, around the perimeter, like the edges of the bowl, you wanna have your holes more so spread right. out. And in the center, you want to get closer, closer, closer. Did you talk to any of your friends? Oh, so can I send, um, send Quali the address, because I forgot. Okay. Um, oh, damn, that was a long time ago. Yeah. He bringing, he's bringing Jordan. Who's that? Oh, the girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, she, she I'm going to text Mia. I'm going to text Taylor. I'm going to shout out right now. So... It's enough holes. I mean, to each his own, this will work, but that's why I like my holes. So you just wanna, you got a napkin or something? No. You don't wanna leave the tobacco on your um, 
tongs when you're about to burn the hookah because just no, just don't do it. <laughs> I don't, I really don't know why, but you wanna because your tongs will get ugly and burn. Your tongue, I think your tongs gonna get burnt regardless, but they're gonna burn way faster if you have tobacco on them. Oh, it's like using the same there. fork to barbecue and a grill and to eat with. Like yeah. it's just gonna be hella shit on it. That's so funny. That's such a hilarious example. So. This is the coal that I have. I mean, this is out, but it came like this. No promo, no free promo, so guess what? You won't know where this is from. Huh, this is a quick light, that's all I know. Quick light. They so wanna get cold. the fucking quick light. Yeah, you wanna get quick lights because they burn within seconds. They light within seconds. Yeah, they light within seconds. Any coal that's not quick light, you gonna be sitting there with the lighter or having it on the stove trying to cook that bitch for the longest. And by the time it's cooked, you don't want it, um, you're not gonna want the hookah no more. You're gonna take your coal, you're gonna take your lighter. Mine's really cute. Oh no, y'all like So Fat, can you see if someone can bring a speaker? That's what I'm saying. I wanna be unique out yet. Hey, when you start talking, can we wait till I finish my sentence? Sorry. Thank you. So yeah, you're gonna take your coal. And what I do, I just like the bottom. I be really cooking that bitch, just so y'all don't see. Like so. You see how it's sparking up? Yeah, that's what you want. Little trick. When you blow it, wherever you burn, it just spreads more. So it makes it, it makes it light faster. Ah! So be a little <laughs> careful because <laughs> The sparks be flying, they be popping you, just how like when you be frying chicken. This bitch. So, if you want to feel like that, then keep the cold real close. You see that? So, you don't have to get the whole bottom to look like that before you put it on there. Like it'll, once you start pulling it through the holes, yeah, mm -hmm. it'll be lit. So that's good enough. Real good, okay? So, put that on there like so. And this is a one hose hookah. As you can see, this is the open. This is just closed, so you cannot attach a hookah to the side. Now, for the hose. This is your mouthpiece. This is what you put into the hookah because I've had them mixed up for the longest. I actually just recently learned that. Y'all can talk in the background. Like, y'all really giving it's weird. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one, like, oh, wait, I didn't get in the bag. But, oh, I mean, y'all can watch if you want, but like, it don't gotta be dead silent in the bag. It's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, you this piece will easily slide into this, because that's where it's supposed to be, okay? Oh, yeah, so, uh, I thought it, did I do that? Just, just quiet down. I mean, talk, but don't be too loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you see, the coal is lit. Okay, it is lit. So now what you want to do? Oh shit! You want to just keep pulling you want it? The cord too? No. Because as of right now, the tobacco which you entered into the bowl is not burned. It's not lit. So, to be able to burn it so it can vaporize, <laughs> you have to keep pulling. Chase! I have too much water in here. It's like a straw. I love it. It's in Like the water, I see it coming up. Yeah, in my mouth. You want me pour some out? Yeah. So, that's why rookie this mistake, is. okay? But this is my first time using this size, using this size um, stem in this bowl, so that's why you really just have to estimate it. But if you put too much water, it's okay. You just pour some out. It's not the thing with down. <laughs> Real hookah smokers, no. You have at least three holes in your carpet right now. <laughs> if you're a real hookah smoker. You think you put enough out? Yeah. Okay, okay. 
Nobody got Sea Breeze, Witch Hazel. Nobody got that in the day. The mouthpiece. Oh, oh no, I don't have any other But as Makeup you see, works. it is toting. Period. And it's only been a few minutes. Not even. Yeah, it's only been like what, what five. Had. Three, five minutes, and this is a lot of smoke that's coming out. Okay, so this is a good hookah. Y'all gotta make a white. This is a good hookah, but um, just because you're smoking a lot, like the whole bunch of smoke is coming out when you first hit it, it's not all about the hookah. It's about the coal and the, hmm, the tobacco kind of like right. It's really about the quick light, the coal. Do the O's, do the O's. I can't do it in one thing. I gotta do it first. Oh, that's really good. Let's tote, and this is pretty too. Oh yes, Miss Mamas. Period. Now I'm about to get lit in my function. So y'all don't need to see that. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And follow me on Instagram at BossXRock. It's gonna be right here. And don't forget to cup up your hookah from CBD Herbal Shisha on Instagram, period.